Welcome to Five Fast Facts presented by Chick-fil-A. I'm Sammy Kincaid and I'm joined by Mark Daniels. Mark, the bye week, it couldn't have come at a better time and now it's time to face ECU. What have you been preparing for the broadcast? Yeah, I think the bye week's a good time. Six games in and uh, UCF gets a chance to regroup in the second half of the season. A lot of football still to be played, so we'll see a familiar for the Pirates of ECU. Night fans have known them from Conference USA and now in the American. A school that opened in 1907 as a teaching school and uh, now has evolved and uh, became ECU officially in 1967. And why the Pirates? The Pirates, you wonder why? Well, Blackbeard, the famous pirate himself, used to call North Carolina, before it was known as North Carolina, used to call that territory home for many years. That's why we know him as the ECU Pirates. And the Pirates, they haven't been playing for too long, since the 1930s. 1932, first year, but a lot of a great tradition for East Carolina football. Some may not know, but the famous Auburn coach, Pat Dye, was a head coach uh, at ECU and had some success there. Really good football program for a number of years and have been uh, in the American like UCF now since the league came into play. And what have they really been doing on the offensive side of the ball? Um, Alton Hale is uh, their quarterback. We saw a debut as a freshman last year when UCF played up there. Uh, he's a, a run pass threat at quarterback. Uh, so a guy got to keep a, 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 you know, an eye on. From an offensive standpoint, haven't had the explosive game they wanted, but he's a guy that can, uh, kind of like other quarterbacks we see, break down defenses and keep uh, drives alive. So you got to keep an eye on him. He's a big physical quarterback, and uh, some of the uh, you know, night linebackers have to watch this football game. And they have a guy on defense that really likes to get after the they QB. They do. Defensively, they've got some guys. Uh, uh, Kendall Futrell leads them in sack. He's a big body inside interior. Um, he can stuff the run. He can get to the quarterback. EC historically has always had a really good defense. It's a case where their offense is slowly coming around. Their defense has kept them in football games. New coach, 3-3 three and three of the year, different vibe for, East, uh, you know, for ECU. Now they come on the road, homecoming for UCF. Hopefully the Knights can bounce back. You take no game for granted. The Pirates certainly be looking for an upset, but hopefully all goes well for us in homecoming. Thank you, Mark, for that. And we'll see you next week whenever we cover Temple.